Hey everybody, it's Mr. Matthew here, and what I want to do is do a quick statistical analysis of some data using Google Sheets, and then make a quick bar graph with error bars on it based off of the standard deviation error bars. So just a little caveat for this, this is a really easy way to do this if you're doing something that is discrete data, something that would be appropriately graphed on a bar graph. If your data makes more sense to have a line graph, it is not easy to put error bars on using a line graph in Google Sheets. I've tried it a few different times. I could not find an easy way to do that. So uh, you may want to use another tool, either try working out through Excel or maybe one of the types of online graphing programs like Plotly or something like that. So I might do a quick search and see if there's a way of doing that easier. I'm going to walk you through how to do bar graphs based off the idea that I have a baseline bucket of data and then an experimental bucket of data. So uh, you can see here on my table that I have the individual students and I'm doing this for 10 students and I want to find the average of that. And so if you do Google Sheets, it's pretty easy to do a formula. And by the way, when I type in equals, it asks me already, do I want to do the equals the average of my data points from B2, which is this box, down to B11, which is this box. And when I hit enter, it's going to calculate it for me as 12.9. All right, and so what that tells me is the average of these 10 data points is 12.9. So now I have my mean. And then if I want to find the standard deviation, I type in equals. And because I've already labeled this row as standard deviation, uh, it actually gives me the formula, which is STDEV for the same data set of B2 through B11. It's suggesting that. So when I put those in, I hit enter and it generates my standard deviation. Now, a quick little note about um, sheets is that if I take this, these two boxes and I drag it over to here, it will copy those formulas, but instead what you'll notice is it applies it not to B2 through B11, but C2 through C11. So it's gonna find my average and my standard deviation for here. All right, so one of the things to note is that if I was to try to graph all of this data um, and I take this and I go up and I do insert and I do a chart, it's going to generate a chart for me. Uh, and it's going to give me all sorts of things that are in here. And what it's doing is it's doing it by the individual students. Uh, which is not really something I want. Now, in this instance, this is be great if I was doing continuous data, but the students don't represent like different data points like that. So I don't really like that. Um, and so it really is hard to take this chart as is and turn it into a kind of graph that I want. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to reset my information. And rather than use this chart, I'm just going to retype these numbers over 12.9 and 16.8 and 3.35 and 4.44. And now what I'm going to do is, uh, and I'm going to delete student, um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a chart. And the chart I'm going to make, so I'm going to insert, I'm going to hit chart, it's going to naturally make a little bit of a graph for me if I highlight just my two categories and my averages. And what this does is it's saying I've got two different series that are here, one that is my baseline and one that's my experimental, and it's going to graph my averages for me. So that's, that's kind of nice. Um, and if I look over here, I've got my chart editor. Now, I don't have enough information on here. I don't really have a title on this graph. I don't have my axes properly labeled. And more importantly, I do not have my error bars that I want. So if I go over to my chart editor and I click on customize, what I can do is I can come over to this and I can add a chart title. Uh, and so what I can do is I could say, this is my uh, comparison of breathing rates for baseline and experiments. And now you'll see that that comes up as my title. I can come up here and I can add my horizontal titles here. 
and this would be my data sets. Oops, data sets for the experiment. And then I can go over and do my vertical axis, which is going to be breathing rate in breaths per minute. Whoops, typo. In breaths per minute. And now that I think about that, I'm just going to reorganize this and do breaths. And I'm going to do divided by, I'm just going to do min. All right, so that simplifies it a bit. And you'll notice that as I was typing these in, they get filled in. So now I've got some axes labeled. I've got some units. That's very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to series. And what I'll see here is I can apply things to either all series at once, so meaning this group and this group, or... I can apply to the individual. So if I want to apply just to the baseline breathing rate, I can click on error bar. And then if I scroll down, I can then add a constant error bar to this. Now it defaults as 10, but I actually know that my baseline breathing, breathing rate is uh, going to have an error bar of 3.35. And now this is going to generate 3.35 above and below. And then if I come back up and switch to the other series, I can switch to this series. I can add my error bar. And then again, I can change to constant. And in this case, it's going to be 4.44. And so now I have appropriate error bars on my graph. And that's just about it. So now I can copy and paste this data set that's here. I can copy and paste that into my lab. I can then also do the same thing. I can copy and paste my chart and put that right into my lab. Obviously for both these figures, I'm going to need to make sure, uh, especially for this ta data table, I'll have to add a title for it um, inside my uh, specific lab report. And I'll have to add a caption. And then for this, I have the title because I was able to put that right in, but I'll have to put the caption, make sure I, in my caption, say that the error bars are standard deviations. Um, so that would be good. And now what you'll see is I've now put in all of the information to set up my graphs. So I hope that was helpful, and I'll talk to everybody soon.